Who or what has the authority in your life? I say the because there is an ultimate authority. It's kind of an uncomfortable question though to consider, isn't it? I mean, by our nature, don't we always fight against authority? Can't you look back not too far in the history of the United States, the history of, uh, take any civilization. Isn't there this natural tendency for people to buck up and fight against authority? I mean, it's true in the spiritual realm too. You might be reading through a passage of scripture or you might be sitting and listening to somebody preach a sermon and there's something about that scripture they read or something about that passage that was presented and it just pricks your heart. And there's something inside that carnal nature rises up against the authority of God's Word. But if the Bible really is God's Word, and those words are really life-giving words, then we ought to obey the Bible, obey its message, and obey its instructions. This next series in the Discipleship Project is going to look at this, the authority of God's Word. Because if this really is God's word, we need to heed its message and obey its instructions. Join us as we look at the authority of God's word.